loves, so welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you a quick tutorial on how you sew a gathered tulle skirt. This is a simple tutorial and requires absolutely no pattern. Also, once I hit 500 subscribers or 500 followers on Instagram, I will be doing a giveaway for this skirt. So stay tuned to the end of the video to see how you can enter the giveaway. So the first thing I'm starting off by doing is just cutting out my pieces for the skirt. I have about 5 yards of tulle fabric in total and I'm just measuring 2 yards for one side of the skirt and then I'm using another 3 yards for the other side of the skirt. So for anybody who's wondering, there's about 36 inches in a yard. So I just measured 36 inches times two on one side and then automatically the other side would be three yards so it would be perfect. So I'm just cutting down the middle and then I'm going to show you guys how I overlap to create the split. So here I'm just showing you how I overlap the fabric to create the split. I overlap the fabric about 7 to 6 inches so that it's not too much split action going on. And then I'm just going to base that down on my sewing machine. So to create the gathers, I'm just using a technique that I learned, I think on YouTube, and it's basically using dental floss. You can use a string as well, and you're just going to use a zigzag stitch and go along the top using the zigzag stitch over the dental floss or string. And this just makes more like a more stable string to pull on to gather the fabric. Sometimes when you use the regular thread, I find that it breaks. So I would suggest just using whatever method works easiest for you. Also, just a quick tip, be careful not to sew over the dental floss. I ended up stitching over the dental floss and then when I went to gather my skirt, my threads kind of broke. So just be mindful of that and don't make the same mistake that I made. Once you finish adding either the string or the dental floss or whatever method you chose to use, you want to take your skirt and you want to start gathering it at the waist. So it's pretty self-explanatory, I don't really need to go into too much detail about how you do that. You're just basically holding the string and you're just pulling the fabric along the waist. And you just want to be careful that you don't break the string. I think I actually ended up breaking the string at one point. So that's kind of annoying. But. So here I'm just measuring the ribbon that I'm using along my waist. And my waist measures about, I think, 26 inches. So I'm just cutting it to that desired waist. I also gave 2 inches extra so that I can insert a zipper. So right there I stuck a pin in it where I want the split. To be placed so that's kind of just like my notch area and I'm placing my my split exactly where I put that pin and then you're just going to continue to pin along the whole waist so that the ribbon fits your exact waist measurement and again if anybody has any like further questions you can just leave it down in the comment section and I'll be happy to answer so before you take it to your sewing machine i was just showing you how it should look now i'm at my sewing machine and i'm just stitching the ribbon to the skirt you want to stitch underneath 
where you put the, the gathers so that the string or whatever thread that you sewn in doesn't show. put in the zipper I feel like I want to do a completely different video for that so just look out for that zipper tutorial this is basically the end result and the finishing of the skirt so I'll leave all the giveaway details in the description box down below thanks again for watching make sure you guys comment like subscribe and I will see you in the next video bye guys